Hello and welcome to another vid another video. This one a little bit a little bit different. I'm doing a doing a balance video video a la Safi um mixing um mixing all of my first together together. Um did um did um and I will pop this here. Um here. Um underneath a Glam Like Guru, Glam Like Guru video where she was powders and some powders and someone suggested Franken powder, Franken powder, a la Sophia. Hey, I hey, I have done that, but I should do it again. I should do it again now that I film it this time. Film it this time, and I hear selection of powders, selection of powders, different types of. So we'll see. So we'll see what we can have. This have this. Clean the jar that I'm going to jar that I'm going to be using to be use be using a teaspoon of each one teaspoon of each one it's a a bamboo st and and the I look the I look the I look is from this video so you can video so you can go check that um um but yes there is why I look so cra I look so crazy and I will be um close ups um close ups of what I'm doing as with my with my camera so, so um, first one that I'm going to one that I'm going to put in Cody Cody airspun is is pretty familiar for just for just about everybody original formula no formula uh, comes with comes with a I think this is faux sheepskin faux sheepskin like powder puff and um and um very iconic very iconic scent people says it reminds me, people says it reminds me of their uh, grandma grandma aunt mother relative relative more difficult than I thought more difficult than I thought to measure. I guess I should have worked out the method for this prior to deciding to just sit down and do this. Okay, after doing some back and forth and back and forth, I've got a nearly level teaspoon. Or it's actually a quarter teaspoon that's going into the pot. So that's our first one. One down. That was a bit more of a journey than I thought it would be. Um, next I'm going to be using my uh, Mary Kay translucent powder. This is the Mary Kay translucent loose powder. Um, I was a, a independent beauty consultant with them in the past. I am not currently but I still have some product that I enjoy using or just want to use up. Hmm. I need four hands. Um, I do like this powder on its own. Ooh, I am not left-handed. All right, so that's the first go round, and what I will do is go back and forth and back and forth until we have a full spoon. Okay, and now we have spoon two. I think my container's too big, but I did want it to be big enough to allow room for stirring. And number three is going in. And this is um, Luna from Luna by Luna. Um, and I got this in a Slay Glam box. It's a beauty subscription. Um, and it is uh, talc, mica, and silica based, so it has a white cast to it. It's really good for brightening, and it's a very smoothing powder, but I am expecting my Franken powder to have flashbacks, so yay! We are also going to be adding a couple of um, color correcting powders. So this is Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder, and uh, Kat Von D... Uh, brightening powder in petal um, got these at uh, TJ Maxx so they're gonna this one's gonna add a slightly pinkness and this one's gonna add that slight yellow so who knows 
So there's powders four and five, adding just a hint of something not white in the container. I'm tempted to shake it, but it'll probably puff up in my face if I do that, so I won't do that. All right, number six and seven. You can see the shimmer. These, this says, this is soft luminance and it's a setting powder and I put less than the spoonful because it is so shimmery and sparkly. I don't know if it will show, it shows up a little bit. And then this uh, Milani one, oh yeah, and this is Elf. And this one is from Milani and it says it is a uh, radiant, absorbs oil and illuminates. And it says it's a make it last setting powder. But if you can see, oh, hold on. Can you see how glimmery that is? That's not a setting powder. That is a loose freaking highlight. Um, the first time I used it, I was like, yeah, sure, let's go for it. People talk about putting highlighter all over their face. But it's just not feasible to use as just an all over powder unless... You're really going for that. So there's going to be a hint of sparkles in the finished product. Yay. This one by Physicians Formula is just the weirdest container. I, I just had to show you. So the sifter is there and you pour it into the lid. But you close it. And this is kind of nice. It comes with this little brush that you can use. But it's very stiff. It's very short. It's very bristly. It is not uh, a good powder brush at all. And this goes over top of everything. So it's kind of a hot mess all the time. Um, it is talc free. Um, it is not very finely milled though. It doesn't feel very nice. Um, but it is SPF 30, which is I think unusual for a powder. So it's kind of nice. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, but yeah. So, hey, this is going to have a little SPF, but it'll probably also feel a little gritty. It's a toss-up. I've been kind of going back and forth over whether or not to include this because this is technically an under eye setting powder. It is a loose powder. It's sheer, um, from, also from e.l.f. I did a full face with e.l.f. a little while back. I think I'll add just a smidge. How much is a smidge? A little more than that. There we go. Is that a pinch? A smidge? So that is technically powder number... What number are we on? Oh, so this would be number nine. Yeah, that's enough. All right, well, uh, my memory card got full, so doing some more of this on just my, on my phone. Um, man, I look insane. All right, so I've got my little container here with the powders, and we're going to mix them with the stick. And I'm going to try to not kick up too much dustiness. Maybe I'll shake it around a little bit. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing, is stirring the concoction. Alright, after quite a bit of stirring, we have a more uniform product. Um... It, it looks like it's confused. It doesn't know if it's finely milled or coarsely milled, if it's sparkly or not. Um, so next I'm going to swatch it on my arm and then powder my face. Um, it looks like um, some of the ones with more of a tint have kind of taken over, so I may tweak the mixture a little bit, adding some of the more um, sheer and translucent powders to kind of balance out like the banana and the pink and the everything else we have going on in here. 
Okay, so there it is swatched. It is so shimmery. I sh I knew it. I knew it. But it's like the white or pale cast to it is separate from the shimmeriness. It's weird. So that's it just kind of swatched on the inside of my arm. I'm going to be so sparkly. Maybe I should add more of the translucent stuff first. I'm gonna All do right. that. At this point, I would say I have about a tablespoon and then some, maybe a tablespoon and a teaspoon of Franken powder. And um, it smells like a combination of powders. The, you can sort of smell the Cody Airspun, but um, I also don't have the best sniffer, so I'm not the, the best one to double check about that. I'm going to, let's just, I'm gonna dip in with this SL Miss Glam Brush. That is a Precise Powder SL42. I'm gonna just dip in, tap off a lot, apparently. Oh my gosh. Well, either it's the brush or it's the powder. And I don't know, because some different powders have different, like, clinging power, so. I can't really tell. I am not lucky. Let's switch. Sorry if anybody's getting motion sickness. It's kicking up. It's very powdery. Well, I mean, duh. It's powder, Lene. I mean, it feels very soft. Let me see what it looks like. IRL. It's funny, I don't like see as much of the shine from the sparkliness. Um, I did go ahead and add some more of the translucent powders to try and balance out all of the sparkliness I was seeing. I'm gonna tap off a little less of the excess and see what happens. Yeah, I see a little bit of the sparkle now. So maybe it just flies off the brush sooner. I'm really not looking forward to taking a flash, <laughs> flash photo. <laughs> I almost get super sweaty under my, under my lip. It's so weird. It's not like super duper yellow or pink either, which is mildly surprising to me because of what all was mixed. <laughs> and the black and colorful eyeshadow look is still making me look like a crazy person, so might as well go with the crazy powder while we're at it. I don't know. I mean, with just the ring light on my front camera, I can already tell I look super ghosty. I can just probably turn up the brightness and you'll see how it looks with a flash. But, I mean, ooh, it's very soft. It's very silky smooth. And it doesn't feel heavy either. It's very, it's very lightweight. I'm giving a review like anybody else is going to, is going to wear this. I'm gonna turn up this light too. Yeah, so probably not going to be <laughs> my go-to, um, but it is very nice. I mean, I'll use it up eventually, because especially with powders, a little goes a long way, and I'm not like a super oily type that I like need to touch up. Um, except for, like I said, I get sweaty around here. 
Um, so, anyway, that's my bad makeup science <laughs> video. Mixing all my loose powders together. Um, I thought about scraping some pressed powder in there, but I they're not meant to do that. It would have probably not mixed well or set well or any of that. And I think I only have two or three pressed powders anyway. Um, I don't have a whole lot of like really nice powders, so maybe this would go differently with your powders. Um, if you give it a try, tag me, let me know. Um, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I don't know if tags work on YouTube or not, but yeah, I'd like to see uh, different types. And if there's something you would like to see all mixed together, let me know in the comments what, <laughs> I mean, Sophia's done almost everything, I think. So yeah, um, blushes maybe? I think maybe she hasn't done blushes or bronzers. And I don't think mascara would work. It might. I wouldn't know. Never mind. I'm digging myself a hole here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, this mess. And I am now covered in the various powders in this process. It actually wasn't as messy as it could have been. Um, I should quit messing with it. It's only gonna get worse. All right, thanks for joining me for this crazy video. Have a good night, day, wherever you are. Thanks for letting me talk at you. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>